Okay, well I had more success with my uh, converted motorcycle battery that was converted to this alum and distilled water. And I got it to charge right on up to um, over 10, uh, approaching 11 volts. And uh, at this point uh, I decided a, a better use for this rather than the light uh, would be this. And uh, this is one of the things I missed over at Catalina on my trip was some way to cool down. It got very hot and humid and almost ruined my trip. If I'd had this along, um, it would have made a difference. This is a battery operated um, fan that uses a whole bunch of D cells. And I didn't have the D cells, so I couldn't run the fan. I didn't want to run the boat batteries down. But if I'd had that thing right there, uh, that would have done the trick. And that's the under load voltage on this right here and if that had been charged up and I could have kept that inside the boat you know where I sat without worrying about the acid spilling and I could have run this would have made a difference the light I had already built and that worked out great and I can run the light off this battery too but that's what I really needed on this last trip was some way to cool down That's under full load right there. And that's the lower setting. And I think this would run for quite a while. Um, this is a 14 amp per hour battery. And if I just charge this up real good before I left home and then uh, use solar uh, charging on it, I would have had a way to cool down. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where I'm at with this uh, uh, lead acid conversion uh, project and uh, so far it's a major thumbs up thanks for watching